Dream Team, it's your boy D Neil back with another reaction video, guys. Here we are with the crazy ish American Safe from Reddit episode three. I'm so happy Evan Edinger is back with another part of this. I love getting the chance to react to it. Before we do, make sure y'all subscribe, uh, ring the notification bell, get a video a thumbs up, and let's see how shaved, disappointed, appalled I will be by my fellow Americans in this video. The main thing to be clear about here is that vacations are only interesting for about four days. And beyond that, you're basically just a lazy bum. I mean, hey there. I <laughs> the thing is, if I want vacation, I'm probably going to run out of bread in those first four days. I'm going to run out of money. I probably don't have too much to do nothing outside of four days. So I don't hate the statement. But, I mean, people who travel and go on vacations and make sure they got the budget for it, I'm sure they can make their entire vacation absolutely awesome. Evan Edinger here, everyone's favorite American-British transplant man who does Reddit content <laughs> occasionally. Today we're doing episode three of <laughs> Americans Say. Listen, it's been a full year and a half, two years since my last vid, and Americans have been saying a lot of sh You're like, oh, Evan, yeah. what is this subreddit about? I think you'll get the gist after the first one. Let's go. I so, know we top of the year, we've got uh, British plugs are sh just like British people's teeth. Uh, <laughs> followed up with this comment spits truth. England is a third world country. Yeah, okay. This is such a weird reach. I feel like anyone can objectively look at. He ain't had to come at y'all teeth like that, Brits. Uh, whoever he, she, they didn't have to come at y'all teeth like that. That was dirty. It was a low blow. I don't respect it. But it was a little bit fun. British plugs, look at American plugs. This has been discussed ad nausea. Listen, British plugs, they take a big dub here. They're big old W. They they very much are superior in this case. Next up. Okay. Ooh, scratching the bedside Ooh. table. We've got, yeah, I'd be freaking out too if my clock was displaying nonsense oh numbers. My God. Are you aware that it's a 24 hour <laughs> clock, right? Uh, so it's just saying 11.36 PM. You didn't have to be that nice. <laughs> but we have, I'm sorry, this isn't PC. But I don't care about British customs. <laughs> I just don't understand how one can be so Ooh. creased about something so yeah. small of like this. I'm surprised he didn't call it military time. Bro, no, people go follow something to say no matter what, especially here in America, my day. Somebody gonna say something. That, <laughs> it's like they don't got the ability to see something, not agree with it, and scroll past. They got to say something. What's wrong with military time? Why are you upset about military time? Because in my mind, that is still what this is called from my upbringing in the States. I know this isn't very Jesus. PC. I don't care for British customs. That's so <laughs> stupid. I'm going to help myself. Irish specifically. My ancestry comes from Munster County. Well, Munster is not a county. It's a province. Oh, <laughs> You're going to mansplain Ireland to me when I'm Irish? Oh, God. A man with an unwashed ass has an opinion again. <laughs> I, I'm Irish. You're American. I'm pretty confident I know my country better than your absolute gal. No, I've never heard gal before. But I've never heard that, that in my life. Very nice. A gal is a term used to refer to someone who is annoying or irritating. I feel that. All right, that's pretty good. It's a bit tamer than I thought it would be. It's a common slang in Northern, and it's often used in everyday conversation. Uh -huh. While the term gal is specific to Northern. It's not uncommon for slang terms for irritating people to vary by region. What a waste. I love that one so much. You're gonna, man, all he said was it's pride to province. <laughs> and this, you're gonna mansplain Ireland. He, he lived there. He pro Ireland. What you, he just telling you the place that you say is not a county, but it's a province. He's correcting you. That's a, he's, no, he's not mansplaining you. <laughs> Jesus. Time. Here's the thing. I do think you should have every right to be proud of your ancestry, be proud of where you're from, and that's so exciting to learn more about your, you know, culture of your ancestors. But yeah. it's not your culture. It's the culture of your ancestors. I just can't that's imagine true. having that's this facts. level of American exceptionalism to just be like, I, I know more about the country I've never been to <laughs> than a citizen of said country. Maybe unpopular that opinion, but real English is the American English and the British English should be considered the same as a dialect. Oh my I mean, God. Why? <laughs> God, another one. Why has everyone got to talk? Okay, the Brits started the English language, but the Americans have perfected it. Listen, I understand where this is coming from because I feel like most everyone where I'm from agrees 
that that's how we feel about pizza. Italy invented the pizza, and America was like, actually, we're gonna make it better with La Grease. But newsflash, there isn't really a real English. I mean, you could say the same about Spanish if you wanted and say, uh, yeah, unpopular opinion, but real Spanish is spoken in Latin America, or real Portuguese is spoken in Brazil. It, it's a very nonsensical opinion to have. Language Agreed. changes over time. Even Agreed. within England, there are so many different pockets and different dialects. I feel like instead of being mm. like, ours is real, yours is fake, just, I don't know, focus on how that's interesting. The transatlantic yes, economy. They're just different. Slang-wise and everything, it's just different. No, no, we both speak in English. I'm just different versions of English. Australia speak English too. They speak a different version of English, you feel me? Uh, well, slang wise and all that. So, say one is right and wrong. I don't understand why people care. Ours is real. Yours is fake. I, Just, I don't know. Focus on how that's interesting. The transatlantic econ discourse. Americans, we have lower inflation, lower unemployment, higher growth than you. We win again. Europeans. Thank you for your email. I'm currently out of office on <laughs> annual summer vacation until 30th of September, 2023. Ah, sure. The standard type that. of thing talking about the difference between basic workers' rights in the US and the UK, which I have made an entire video on. But the quote reach we, you're gonna need to sit down for this. All right, <clears throat> this is a take. This is an actual take someone's had on the internet. Okay, the main thing to, to be clear about here is that vacations are only interesting for about four days. And beyond that, you're basically just a lazy bum. <laughs> this idea that you're not going to do anything productive for three months and it will be fulfilling is the preserve of losers. Okay, so it said vacations like, okay, not like actual going on a vacation, but like just being on a vacation from work. Uh, no, I don't agree with this statement. I, I completely disagree with this statement. What? You getting paid to chill at the crib because you on your summer vacation? He just mad because he can't be on a summer vacation. That's why I put that because he only get four days of summer vacation while they get some months. Like, who says that? You're only productive. You just want to be unproductive and lazy bums. Like, freak that. I want, I want months of summer vacation. Uh... Yeah, people just wild. We're gonna break this video up into two different parts because I got a lot to say about these these opinions. I don't know. All right, no matter where you are, what country you live in, what economic status you have, just imagine that your opinion of a holiday, of a vacation is, after four days, there's nothing really fulfilling. I just want to get back in and break my bones and work some more. <laughs> Like, Crazy. This is just such a stupid take. It's hard to yes. take this seriously. They're like, I can't possibly be wrong about this. America is the greatest country <laughs> in the world in all regards. I can't possibly find any new information that disproves that. Instead, <laughs> holiday is bad. Vacation, bad. Working so that the CEO makes more money and more profits for the shareholders. That's what life is really about. <laughs> this is like that classic American trope of the poor of America not viewing themselves as the lower class, but viewing themselves as future rich. Because you know, he's just- That's a good a point. More, right? just, just a little- That is a legit good point. God dang, I low key be- <laughs> Oh my God. I be thinking that way. It, that's terrible. I gotta hide my face in shame on this one because that is the exact way I think. And I would be considered on the lower class of America. But I do just think of myself as future rich. Oh my God. Oh my God. Hey, y'all gotta help me. Uh, <laughs> you guys can help me by, by sharing the video, by liking the video, by watching the video, by watching more of my content. You guys can help me turn my delusion into reality. Help me. A little bit more working and making like significantly more money for his superiors. But one day that'll be him and he'll be able to say that it was all thanks to his own gumption, lifting himself up by the bootstraps. But then again, I guess if the only place you ever traveled to was uh, within your own state or God, maybe to the state nearby, sure, maybe after four days you might get bored of having the same exact culture but with a different flavor at the Waffle House. <laughs> Boom! 
Roast. Wow, there's a lot this year on uh, about languages. It's really funny to take Spanish with people from different Spanish speaking countries uh, because the ones from South American countries are like, yeah, no one uses vosotros. Hey, that's true. Uh, we don't know what it's doing here. And the ones from Europe are like, if you don't give our beloved second person plural, it's due respect, the hounds will find you. Why would they speak Spanish in Europe? <laughs> Why? Why is this constantly a thing? <laughs> but like Spanish is a language and it's not a nationality like they speak in they speak Spanish in Mexico and Puerto Rico no! ah! You know everyone's favorite Irish colony in uh, in the Americas Puerto Rico in Puerto Rico the game <laughs> oh, God, I, I'm, I'm so I'm covering my face cuz I got to hide it cuz I got to hide it because you <laughs> I can't be associated with these fellow Americans. Don't put me in the same sentence with them. Don't put me in the same category. We talk about these Americans to your friends. Don't say all Americans. Make sure you say Dream Team Meal's cool. But that one says something stupid. That, make sure you separate us. Don't don't put me in a group with them. Even in the cities. Don't put... Ah. <laughs> Port Rico. Jesus Christ, man. How can you not spell Puerto Rico? I'm, Guinness I'm runs like cervezas. Oh, uh, I don't know what that's supposed to mean. Oh, I'm so sorry. Um, this is did, ridiculous. For the Irish accent. They speak Spanish in Mexico and Puerto Rico. It's not like there's a place called Spania full of Spanish people. Oh, my yeah. God. Come on, guys. So the line done. really starts to get blurred. Are you just taking some bait here? Part of me is it's got to be this to got be, to be Puerto Rico. It has to be. But also, there are genuinely people. They're stupid in the world, and especially if they're American, they do really love to loudly shout without realizing just how stupid they are. Just to clarify, there is a country called Spain, and it's where Spanish came from. It's like Mexico, but the original one. So. There's your geography lesson for the day. 11 year old arrested at school after refusing to stand on the pledge. The Florida sixth graders teacher reportedly told him he could go to another place to live. I'm so glad that we live in the land of the free. That's crazy. Free to not that's, a, it, that's a true story? That's ridiculous. Actually stand for the Pledge of Allegiance, I would think, but no. Also as added context, I believe from this story, uh, the student was Canadian. They're a Canadian student their parents moved to America and now they have to be indoctrinated. That's like, you know, mandatory. Teachers, like, you wild. have to be indoctrinated or you can find somewhere else to live. Sure, it is depressing. Yet again, is this bait? That's fake. $10 bills have Alexander Hamilton oh on them. Oh my God, it's I'm got to be sure bait. I'm not sure who that is on yours. There has not been a lot of change to the $10 bill. Now it's got to be bait. It's got to be bait. Uh, this was actually Alexander Hamilton when he was doing a drag performance in Sydney. <laughs> you might've missed that bit of the musical. <laughs> Uh, but it happened. Preview. Final Fantasy 16 still seems like a PS5 must have, but a couple of niggles need to be addressed. There is, are literally- I have never in my life heard the word niggle. Are literally zero justifications for use of that word in the year 2020. I just ain't never heard of niggles in my- <laughs> I've never heard of niggles in my entire life. The what on earth is a niggle? Niggle. Also, seriously, what the f is going on, British people? Fag for cigarette, niggle for problem? Are y'all really that discriminatory? I can feel the hatred <laughs> burning through generations. <laughs> so it reads problems. I got 99 niggles in a A1. <laughs> Um, uh, I love that word for problems. Um, I'm <laughs> but a couple of nickels. I can't. I mean, this game, it's close to the other word, but it's not. It's a completely other word. Uh, I'm going to start using this word because I niggle. <laughs> niggle. <laughs> okay, okay, come on. Uh, yeah. <laughs> There's a couple other words that are probably going to be really upset about. I can feel hatred burning through generations. I feel like we're finally seeing some sort of slight pushback against like in the 2010s where it was like anyone just be offended about anything possible. Yeah. Here we have someone thinking that this is still 2010. They can just be like, this offends me that other countries have other words. But nah, I don't know. I think we're still in that era, Evie. 
where anyone be offended by anything possible. I feel like it, it may even be worse at this point, if I'm being honest. Only these people for being absolute idiots. I believe in a previous Shit American Say video, there was someone that was very offended at the country Montenegro. Boy, wait till you find out that, for instance, here's, here's a little fun fact. In Japan, the word for penis or wiener is the same as what an Italian says when they say cheers. So personally, I think Italians sh should stop just shouting wiener whenever they're gonna drink a drink. That's very inappropriate to the people of Japan. Offended, next, LOL. It would still take all day to get from Toronto to NYC on a train or 45 minutes to fly. Same thing for Europe. Nobody takes a train from Germany to France. Yeah, nobody. They actually just completely destroyed all the rails that went in between the two countries after the war. Why shout such stupid sh with your like full chest? Yeah. when Google is right there. We live in a world where you Don't can just, just really quickly before hitting send tweet or Facts. X or whatever the stupid thing is called these days. You just have to just Google it. Just That's Google it. it. Trains are really awful in our country. They obviously are in every other country as well. USA wins one to one. <laughs> just like right. Vietnam, baby. Listen, <laughs> USA wins one to one. <laughs> <laughs> Greatest tie against the British since Bunker Hill. <laughs> they must have like won like I'm assuming. I'm hoping. More of a hope than a subject. I'm hoping that maybe like they won a certain seating, maybe they qualified to make it into something with this tie. All they had to do was tie and they qualify or won a certain seating. I'm hoping that's the case. I I pray that's the case. <laughs> Just like Vietnam, baby. Listen, we we won that one. We decided it wasn't worth it, and we pulled out. And we're like, yeah, you're not worth it. You know what I'm saying? Like, get out of here, winner. Boom, the greatest tie against the British. <laughs> Look how happy they are. Come on, you gotta, gotta give them that. They're happy. <sighs> Knife murders per one million of a population. Here we go. How, oh, wow. how spicy are we gonna get? Population is a lot larger in the U.S. as well, which makes your chart pretty invalid. Jesus Christ, man. I, I don't know what to say, y'all. Uh, I, this, the chart literally says per one million of population. Per one, oh my God. Yeah, you know the chart that explicitly states per one million of a population that has already yes. factored that in? This chart goes against my indoctrination. So it, I can't read it. No, it can't be real. So this one I do find quite interesting. We have, can someone at Sony please explain why you chose not to hire a Japanese performer to wear traditional Japanese wardrobe for a Japanese game? This is extremely offensive to your Asian American consumers and blatant cultural appropriation. Please explain. Hello, I'm Japanese. Let me explain. Uh, that man is one of the few living people officially recognized as a master of that instrument. Ego I, my, I, I'm telling you, I'll be, and if I'm being honest, it's mostly be white people getting offended for everybody else, for every other race. Every, <laughs> they be the first ones to step up and be offended. Uh, but that's all we got for part one. Make sure y'all subscribe, ring notification bell, give the video a thumbs up. It's your boy Daniel, out.